Welcome back to another Holistic Home episode here on your PG County Living. My name is Carolyn and I serve the wonderful people of PG County and the surrounding areas. And today we're talking all about homeowners associations. So I help a lot of buyers and sellers that have homes that they're considering to purchase in communities with HOAs or where the seller already lives in an HOA. One of the most important steps in the process is to learn more about the HOA to make sure that the home is the right fit for you. If you've talked to friends and family, you've probably heard some really positive things about communities with HOAs and some very negative things. Knowing about your HOA and what it will allow you to do and not do is very important. Now, HOAs manage everything that's outside of the home, such as the structure of the building, the landscaping, and the recreation areas, if they have them. But unlike membership and other community associations, if you're unhappy with the way the organization is run, you just can't walk away. If your HOA displays these four characteristics, then it probably makes the grade. Number one, the community looks good. If you're thinking about buying into a community, take an objective look at its appearance. Is the structure of the building in good repair? Are the trees pruned? Is the landscaping well maintained? Is the pool clean? Are there any homes that are community eyesore? Um, answers to these questions will reflect on whether the HOA is performing its duties properly and requiring homeowners to do the same. Number two is good communication. This is your right to know what's going on in the community. So do your research, figure out how the HOA boards communicate with its residents. For example, email, flyer, newsletters, maybe even a website, annual reports, and etc. Check for flyers that advertise community meetings so that you're there. If the homeowners are invited to attend, this is a positive sign that your voice will be heard when it comes to your HOA and that it's valued. Number three is good procedures for safeguarding money. Best HOAs put checks and balances in place to safeguard against a risk of financial mismanagement. They always employ a second set of eyes to look over things, someone that's not on the HOA board. Um, they use those folks to collect dues, to pay bills, to review um, checks and invoices, and to make sure that the HOA has their financial business in order. And often a second pair of eyes are used like a professional property manager, a lawyer, or an accountant. Number four are clear HOA rules. Um, some of the best boards that are run are run in a business-like and very strict manner where all of the decisions that are made by the HOA are available to everyone. HOAs tend to have covenants, conditions, and restrictions. So these CCNRs supersede city, county, and state laws, and they can come with hefty fines if they are violated. CCNRs are meant to be applied uniformly across all owners that are in the community, but sometimes they're only enforced if neighbors complain, which means that you might see some inconsistency. So the best way to tell if a CCNR is applied fairly is just to take a look around. If you look in the community, do you see that everybody's landscaping is immaculate? If that's the case, then you probably have a really strict HOA. However, if you look around and some homes are run down, then that sign that the HOA is be lax on enforcing their rules. I can help you research your homeowners association so that you're buying into a good community. Uh, if you do not do your research, then you might purchase into a community that has a lot of restrictions or too few restrictions, and then you may not end up being happy with your purchase. If you're thinking about making a move, I can help you through that process. Just send me a message or a text. No pressure, no sales tactics or anything like that. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you at the next episode.